What up everybody? How are we doing? Cool. Welcome to my video about my favourite kiteboarding accessories. Now, I'm a gadget man, but this isn't a gadget video. These are accessories that enhance my own kiteboarding experience that I've used for many years and I think will enhance your experience as well. These are products that keep me warmer, keep the sun off me, keep me wet, keep me dry, help me clean things. Um, Christmas is coming up, you know. Your mum, your nan, your missus is going, what can I get you for Christmas? Well, if you're like me, you just buy everything you want. But here's some handy ideas for Christmas or just great ideas to buy yourself, because why not? These products really do help you enjoy your kiteboarding experience more, and I use them almost every session. So let's get into it. First up, the seat cover. Yes, the classic. If you're like me and you don't like getting changed on the beach, I normally get changed at home. I drive to the beach, go kiteboarding, get back in my van in my wetsuit and come home and have a nice warm shower. I hate being salty or sandy. So seat cover is the way to go. You just pop it over your seat and then it just buys you enough time to keep your seat dry to get home and run into the shower, clean your wetsuit off. The water does penetrate through after about 15 minutes, but well worth it, especially in the depths of winter when it's really cold great little one find them anywhere cool next up is my o'neill changing towel let's say you have traveled far enough where you need to get changed at the beach it is nice not to show everyone your balls or your bum on the beach or if you've got a van like me you get inside keep warm but still the changing towel is nice makes it a bit easier to get changed i like it next up a new addition to my arsenal of accessories Great for cleaning your mountain bike as well. If you do live too far from the beach and you need a little shower, or you need to just clean off your bar, this thing, cheap. There is some expensive ones, but this one was only like 12 quid on Amazon. It's just one of those like weed killer spray things you pump the pressure into. Um, really handy for cleaning off your bar, uh, your wetsuit, having a little shower, but I don't want to shower right now, but yeah. Oh, I'm not gonna spray my Sony well worth it this compression bag from ride engine slingshot auto make them as well really handy kite bag very lightweight um, great for traveling just to keep your kites protected but they they they, they weigh hardly anything so um, i end up using these like most of the time they've got one single strap in the middle just super easy a couple of spots to put your bar into but yeah i normally always travel with these saves you a lot of weight and keeps your kite protected and you know also not too expensive as well so check them out they're called compression bags another great accessory keeping on the bag front this is a waterproof bag most people use them to keep things dry inside but i use it the opposite i put my wet things inside wetsuits you know if i'm going to the cable it's really handy throw it on your back because wet stuff gets really heavy harness boots whatever chuck it in there it's also great for all your shopping i can get about 20 kilos of shopping in here um really useful toy keep things dry keep things wet whatever i think i just said toy it's definitely not a toy it's definitely an accessory um, but yeah lots of brands out there but this is my only one i've had forever the trusty the faithful great product my beanie my o'neill beanie um neoprene beanie even if I just wear it to the beach, it keeps my head warm. Isn't there that crazy stat about 90% of your heat being lost through your head? I wear it when I'm foiling or riding. It's got like a little tag on the back that you can attach um, to the back of your wetsuit so you don't lose it if you crash. I don't like the ones that come around here because they just feel like super constrictive and like intense. Um, so this is nice. Yeah, as I say, don't worry if I'm going super gnarly because normally I am hot enough, but if I'm going for a little foil and it's getting a little bit chilly or even wearing it to the beach, it's real, real nice. Check it out. Moving in to some warmer products. It's getting cold. It's hard to be on the beach. I wear this year round every time I go kiteboarding at home. It's so nice. I put my keys in the pocket. I put my GoPro in the other pocket. It keeps me warm. It's somewhere to put stuff. I really just can't recommend it enough. Now, this is an O'Neill, uh, I think it's called an icebreaker jacket. This one's a little bit thicker. I wouldn't recommend wearing this one on the water. It does 
absorb a lot of water and becomes a little bit heavy and restrictive. Um, it's more on the beach. Very good, very warm. Check it out. There's another company called Dry Robe that do on with like a fleecy material with a coat material on the side. They look pretty badass too. But this is my favorite. This is the one I've had forever. Big ups O'Neill. Yeah, great product. But there is many products like this. Um, and we're gonna move into the warmer and warmer ones. If you're watching and you live somewhere hot, you're like, yeah, well, I live in Brazil and that's no good for me. Well, some of these will be good for you. Check it out. This is the next one. This is the Wind Voyager Windbreaker. Pretty nice in a little bit warmer temperatures. Um, there's also a little uh, pocket in here you can open and stick your harness hook through. So this is more of a fashionable yet functional coat. Pretty cool, these things are currently trending in the wakeboard industry. And just add a little bit of flavor, a little bit of spice to your style. They come in a black one as well. All, all these details are gonna be in the description below. Let's get into the next one, going a little bit warmer again. Back to O'Neill. This is basically a hoodie made of neoprene. Real nice with the cable. You can get away with wearing a thinner wetsuit and a little bit extra steez. I like it, a little pocket in the middle. There is no uh, space for your harness hook on this one, um, but also nice, cool, it's easy. Next up, for all you people living in warm countries, this is lovely. Keeps the sun off you, keeps you a little bit warm when it gets colder, doesn't get too hot. It's like that sort of, you know, super stretchy, breathable exercise material. Also great for exercising. Some pockets with zips, handy if you like me and you lose everything. Um, yeah. Great product. Again, getting warmer again. Last but not least, Wind Voyager's version of the sun top. Another thing, great for keeping the sun off. I live in these things in hot countries. Keeps, if you're like me, I'm very pale. Um, also keeps you warmer in hot countries on, on a kite trip. Or well, if you live somewhere warm, unlike me, I live in cold England, but it's all right, yeah, I like it. And I think that is all my accessories for now. Um, hit me up if you have any questions about any of them. I will try to put all the information in the description below. As always, thanks a lot for watching my videos. Really appreciate it. Smash the like button. It all does really help. Subscribe if you're not already. Thanks, big up, big up. Have a great Christmas. Big love. Thanks. Peace out. See you in the gadget video.